use of robots in warfare is being researched as a possible future means of fighting wars, and it is believed that automated weapons systems will fight the future of modern warfare. As Russia ramped up preparations for a possible assault on Ukraine, the threat of heavy casualties was never to be ignored. This is why remote-controlled robot warriors could play an important part where the fighting is most profound. Join us today as we will discuss 10 military robots that might be used by militaries in the future. Even some predictors were expecting that the U.S. and Russia may use robots in the Russia-Ukraine conflict. Ukraine is believed to have around 50 of the Bayraktar TB2 drones, which it first bought in 2019. The relatively low-cost Bayraktar drones have successfully targeted tanks and other armored vehicles during various conflicts. The TB2 drone, powered by a single Rotax 912 engine with a wingspan of 12 meters and equipped to carry four laser-guided bombs, can take a maximum payload of 65 kilograms to have a range typically limited to 150 kilometers. They can wander in the air for over 24 hours, waiting for the right moment to strike. Bayraktar TB2s are slow, large, low-flying, and radio-controlled, making them comparatively easy targets for air defense systems and electronic warfare capabilities. The TB2 proved its worth during combat missions, first in Syria and later Libya in 2020. Ukraine proved to be the first customer to recognize the TB2's value and import the technology. Kamikaze drones are known as the suicide drone, as it self-destructs during delivery. It has some autonomous capabilities called the Lancet, used in Syria and could be used in the Russian-Ukraine conflict. These drones don't fire missiles, but unlike typical missiles, they can circle above the target, wait for the ideal moment, and strike with incredible precision as soon as the target is detected. Weighing just five and a half pounds, including its small warhead, the switchblade can be taken into battle in a backpack and fly up to seven miles to hit a target. This type of weapon system is excellent for hidden targets which are hard to detect. Therefore, Kamikaze's instant reaction to a selected target makes it a great offensive weapon. Phantom is the remotely operated mini tactical crewless ground vehicle developed by Spets Techno Export in Ukraine. Based on 6x6 all wheel drive framework, the Phantom UGV can carry two injured soldiers or payloads weighing up to 350 kilograms. It has a length of 3 meters, a width of 1.6 meters, and a height of 0.91 meters. The vehicle is remotely operated from the command and control station, which comprises a laptop with a user control panel. The operator transmits guidance, navigation, obstacle avoidance, and control to the vehicle through a 5-kilometer long fiber cable with two widescreen monitors located in the control station to display the vehicle's movement. The Phantom Tactical Robot is armed with a 12.7mm by 108mm heavy machine gun fitted to a roof-mounted, remote-controlled turret. The vehicle can assist forward guard positions, providing protection, firepower, and fire support to manned guards entering the battlefield in Ukraine. This scouting robot weighs 1,100 kilograms, could carry a 200 kilogram of payload. The robot comprises two sections, each using two wheels. The front has a lightweight weapon station that mounts a 7.62, 12.7mm machine gun and two guided missiles. The robot is powered by a 12 kilowatt diesel generator that charges the batteries and powers the four drive motors. The system sustains up to 10 hours or 130 kilometers, traveling at a road speed of up to 20 kilometers per hour, or one hour of operation on battery power. Ironclad uses an advanced radio link that supports mesh networking to automatically extend radio coverage in areas where multiple users operate such radios. This capability provides better resistance to electronic warfare to the network. Like the Phantom, it also has a dual fiber optic system. Developed by Ukraine's Robotics Design Bureau, this unmanned vehicle can be equipped with various types of weapons, 
machine gun, automatic grenade launcher or gun, anti-tank guided weapon, etc. The system can automatically recognize and track targets. The primitive-looking hunter was commanded via a laptop computer to direct machine gunfire. Then came the Hunter 2 model that was upgraded with an infrared camera, an encrypted data link, a 36-hour battery life, and a streamlined laptop control system. The Mislevits would have casualty evacuation applications and could potentially mount heavier weapons such as automatic grenade launchers or anti-tank guided missiles. The remotely controlled Platform M combat robot is armed with a 7.62mm machine gun and four grenade launchers. It is built to operate in extreme environments with temperatures ranging from negative 30 to plus 50 Celsius. The robot's targeting mechanism works automatically without human assistance. The prime task of Platform M is to carry out scouting and patrol missions and guard military sites. It is also used to gather intelligence and discover and eliminate stationary and mobile targets. Platform M is equipped with optical, electronic, and radio reconnaissance locators, which enable the Russian robot to perform combat tasks during the night without unmasking itself. Euron 9 is designed for combat operations, weighing in at 10 tons. It is armed with a 30mm cannon, 7.62mm machine gun, and anti-tank rockets. The vehicle is designed to provide remote reconnaissance and fire support to various tasks. This robot consists of four unmanned ground vehicles, one mobile command station, and a tractor for the transportation of robots. It is equipped with six road wheels, is 5.12 meters long, 2.53 meters wide, and 2.5 meters high, and weighs approximately 10,000 kilograms. The Euron 9 robot can resist the firing of small arms ammunition and shell splinters and can be operated in either autonomous or manual mode. The Nareta is a remote operator-driven battlefield support vehicle that is very compact with a length of 2.5 meters, a width of 1.6 meters, and a height of 900 meters. It weighs 1,700 kilograms with a payload capacity of 700 kilograms. The vehicle's general appearance is of a small tank with weapons mounted over the center of the roof. It is developed to take on multiple battlefield roles, including general scouting, cargo transportation, and fire support. Its compact size certainly makes a good fit for lighter armed elements and will likely be a part of the Russian battlefield soon. The Black Knight is the unmanned ground combat vehicle used during day or night missions considered too risky for a manned ground vehicle, such as forward scouting, target acquisition, intelligence gathering, etc. It enables operators to acquire situational data from unmanned forward positions and verify mission plans by using map data to confirm terrain assumptions. It can be operated autonomously or can be teleoperated from within another vehicle. Black Knight's system is equipped with camera images to detect both positive and negative obstacles in its surroundings. The navigation system features include fully automated route planning and mission planning capabilities. The vehicle also stops when it sees dangerous obstacles in its path. Euron 6 is a multifunctional mine clearing robot system used in mine scouting and area clearance operations to detect and remove explosive weapons. It also minimizes risks caused by unexploded guns and other dangerous objects. The robotic system consists of a small, lightweight remote control unit and payloads. Weighing approximately 6 tons and a length of 4.45 meters, a width of 2.01 meters, a height of 1.49 meters, it is equipped with four video cameras fitted on top, which provides the operator with 360 degrees field of view of the functional area in the front and rear. The equipment includes a 1.8 meter wide bulldozer blade, minesweeper, robotic arm, crane with a cargo lifting capacity of 1,000 kilograms. The mine clearing robot is controlled by a single operator using a remote control system from a safe distance of one kilometer. 
It is survivable to mine 60 kilograms of TNT explosions and can clear hazardous substances weighing from 1 kilogram to 4 kilograms of TNT. Designed to operate in dangerous combat situations, it keeps the soldiers out of harm's way. As the robotization of 21st century warfare seems increasingly unavoidable, using these military robots reduces risks to humans while making it easier for societies to execute those wars constantly. We can only hope that robotization won't cost more lives than it saves. That's it for today. We will be back with more exciting videos soon. Thanks for watching.